Okay, first thing, I want you guys to see this. Like, every time I turn on the camera, I'm blurry, and it focuses on Yuna. Like, thank you, camera. I'm the star of the show. And you everyone, please switch to the video in your place. And right now, we're about to check out Espa's spicy music video, the main title of their brand new album. Yo, I'm excited to check this out as well as the rest of the album because I did check out all the track videos on my own. Sorry, I didn't do a reaction to them, but y'all know I had to react to this because it looks like from the first frame it's taking place in where all the teasers, the first teasers they showed. It looks like it's going to take place in all that, which supposedly is America, I'm thinking? I don't know. I just know Espa did a lot of globe trotting for this comeback. And so happy that SM were giving them big budget for this comeback. And y'all, <laughs> let's not waste any more time. Let's get in this. Three, two, one. Hit the playback. Woo. Okay. Oh, yeah. All them bouncing cars and fur balls. Everything. Oh, they're even doing self-cam angles. Nice. Oh, yes. Internet? Hold on. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta go back then. Why are you messing up, Internet? Oh, that popsicle, though. Are they, like, at a university in those shots? Bathroom. Oh, they look so good, y'all. That pool, though. Oh, yeah. The Espa lore with them digital glitches. Oh. Oh. See, I love music videos where it just looks like they have genuine fun shooting it. And like, they definitely look like they're having fun shooting this, because they're just like, being themselves in a university, and... Oh, that's the album! Yo, I'm excited to get that album. It looks like a legit magazine. That version of the album. <laughs> they make pigtails, how cute! Oh my goodness, Ning Ning, you're so cute. Oh. Dang. That house, though, is that literally someone's mansion or something? Y'all. <laughs> that party, though. I wonder if this is a connection to that whole one of the track videos they did where it had a party in it. This is such an epic sound, y'all. Definitely Espa like. Oh. Oh, that hair, though. Nice. That hair on Karina. I love the fashion in this, too. Just. I love it. It's all. I don't know. I don't know if it's high teen or yeah, like high teen. Like, what's that term? I can't think of it right now. Y two K. That's it. Oh, all oh, their hair. I just happened to notice, y'all. Okay, that... Karina? You better stop. Oh, that balloon. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Espa spicy music video. Like, honestly, I enjoyed that video. Like, one thing I was... I feel like... I felt like I was gonna love this video because of the fact... And I did, by the way. 
because of the fact that we got an Espa video where it's just like in the real world, like, that's basically the whole concept of it though, is that it's taking place in the real world, supposedly, and the fact that they're like, like I said, they've been globe trotting, filming all these different clips and stuff like that, I'm really happy that they did that because it's a new side to Espa that we haven't seen yet, and it worked just as well. I just love the fact that they're outdoors, they're filming like all these different locations at a university, at a mansion, at a party, and the, the, the fact that they're just being themselves as well. They're just being the human selves that Espa are instead of, you know, their video game selves, as you know a lot of Koreans like to put it and all their other music videos within the storyline, which supposedly this is a part of the storyline because I saw all them glitches happening in that area and stuff like that. So there's a lot of theories that I've heard online about how supposedly they're not actually in the real world, but they're still stuck in the digital world, or how supposedly the two merge after Novice came and stuff like that. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, the fact that the, all I know is that there's all these different weird phenomenons happening, but Esper just enjoying it. They're like, nah, nothing new for us. <laughs> I guess because they, they've been in the digital world, they've seen some weird stuff, so they're seeing them just like, mm hmm. Not that weird. <laughs> so, yeah, just, I, I don't know. I'll, I don't personally have a theory for about everything that's going on. That's what you guys are going to have to tell me in the comments, because I stink at metaphoring and stuff like that. So. Yeah, but I do have a pretty good, a decent knowledge of the de of the whole lore that's been going on with the whole stories that's been happening so far. And this is kind of like the sort of break in between, like I guess the filler part of the story, where, you know, they're in the real world and stuff like that. At novice has come into the world, everything's happening in the real world, but I guess it's going to build up to the next thing, which... Espa did say they're already working on their next album, which I've heard is supposedly going to be a full album, which basically apparently what this is what this should have been, but apparently got delayed or something like that, and, well, again, they performed their concert, and half the songs they performed their concert are on this album, like, you know, Spicy, Salty and Sweet, Thirsty, which... Is this album about food? <laughs> and supposedly all those other songs are going to be on the next album, which SM did say it's supposed to come during the fourth quarter, which we all know SM and their predictions and stuff like that. They delay it for whatever reason, so I feel like it's most likely going to come at the start of next year. But either way, I'm excited to check that out as well. And yeah, just I really enjoyed the video. Nice video. The girls look stunning as always. I really love their fashion, how they went for the whole, just like, how they have just like normal clothing and stuff like that, which I love their video game looks, don't get me wrong, all their lore looks and stuff like that, because it looks great on them, and they pull it off so well. But I just love that we're seeing them in their natural form, like, as the real world girls that they are and stuff like that. I just really enjoyed that. And of course, their voices, choreo, rap, everything on point, as expected from an SM artist. The song... On the first listen, I'd have to say, on the first listen, this is my least favorite Espa title track. Well, one of my least favorites alongside Girls and stuff like that, which I did grow to like Girls. And I'm sure this song will do the same. It'll definitely be a grower on me. Like, I feel like just about all of Espa songs are growers. Like, it's because it is what it is. It's experimental. It's different. It has its own thing. It makes Espa Espa and it definitely grows on you and stuff like that, which, hey, the songs that hit on the charts for what I saw, it entered the top 10 on all the charts in real time, so it's definitely going to be a hit on the charts. It's going to get all kinds of music show wins, and it supposedly sold well over, well, it did sell well over a million copies on the first day. Congrats to Espa for doing that, just breaking records left and right and stuff like that. Just... Really happy for all the success that Espa's getting and stuff like that, and really hoping for more success in the future, which I know there's going to be even more success in the future, because, I mean, they got big plans, and I can't wait to see them fulfilled. So, yeah, anyways, this is just my opinions. What are your guys' opinions? Put it down in the comments down below, and yeah. This is basically you're watching Ayo Blaze, so this is the next video. Drop some sure and like, comment, and subscribe for more. And follow me on Twitter if you want to. Link in the description, as always, and you'll have a great day. God bless you. Thank you for watching, and... Peace out, my scouts.